Hello to all my friends out there. Hi. Okay. When I was doing the $5 challenges, one of the problems I was trying to solve, and it's not fully solved yet, is not running out of fruit and vegetables. Bread, you can stockpile the flour and everything. Pretty cheap too, but the vegetables and fruit are a problem. So I've been trying to solve this problem it's the last week of the month or, you know, it's getting a few days before payday. So what I came up with was if you buy one large onion and one large bell pepper, that will last about three days, maybe four. I got these really big ones. I still have some. And then you can buy carrots loose. So you would have carrots, onions, and bell peppers. That'd be pretty cheap. And then uh, ketchup can count as a vegetable. It can really help. You can eat it on some hot dogs, you know, to avoid being totally out of. Um, when I have seen people who are out of food, they're out of ketchup too. The large cans of tomatoes can really help if you can stockpile one because you can actually make ketchup. I don't know how to make it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure that out. That's important. And then the the other thing is sauerkraut. Down through time, people have had sauerkraut and you can buy sauerkraut in the can cheap too. So it'd be carrots, onions, bell peppers, and cans of sauerkraut and tomatoes and ketchup. So three would be fresh vegetables and three would be canned. That's a pretty good assortment. So if you made sure that that last week of the month, uh, you had those items, you're not gonna suffer as much. Okay, and then fruit in a way is a bigger problem because if you buy it by the piece, it can be expensive. I was trying to do the $5 um, challenge and I would have one dollar left for fruit and vegetables and I would get like a banana <laughs> three bananas okay so the cheapest just about the cheapest thing you can buy is bananas so bananas a large can of fruit you can store some large cans of fruit a large can a large bottle of juice you can get those at dollar tree applesauce the cans if you watch the cans are cheap sometimes they give you cans of applesauce at the food bank so um applesauce can be used on your pancakes you can make apple bread you can make applesauce cake if you have the food and jam Jam can really help. I stockpile jam. So, okay, you'd get bananas, a large can of peaches or pears, the large can of juice. You, I'm, they do have them in cans from time to time on sale. Would be orange or pineapple juice, so you'd have the citrus. I, I also uh, stockpile those large, um, large bottles of... of um, lemon and lime juice and you can make some good lemonade and limeade out of those so um, you'd buy fresh bananas a large can of peaches or pears a large bottle of juice orange or some kind of citrus grape is good too applesauce and jam so that's a pretty good assortment of 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 uh, fruit so if you guys have any ideas if you would leave them under comments that would be appreciated so we can put them in our notebook okay so i see three um, worrisome issues missing items on shelves okay i still haven't found any shortening at a good price i can buy shortening for six dollars i don't want to i found a lard for a dollar fifty and really, in some kind of food shortage, uh, lard might be the better item for your beans. Lard can make, lard is good on um, frying your tortillas too. 
uh, predictions of gas going up. I mean, I even heard predictions, you better figure ways to work, like riding a bike, taking a bus, stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, floods, we had floods and the crops were not planted and some of the beef and some of the pork, maybe up to 20% were drowned. So, okay, if you have plenty of money, that is not an issue. I used to work in a good area. And you know those Walmart carts? When they would shop, they would buy two or three full of those carts. And they're not the ones that are going to be running out of vegetables and fruit. It's the poor people. So, um, and another thing is, is if you are kind of poor, go to the food banks and stock up your pantries best you can and conserve all your money. Uh, one thing I noticed in the food bank is that it's... When I was taking my friend, they had like day old bread. You know, they give you some day old bread or um, some like um, some fruit. You know, it wasn't like top quality fruit. Uh, they would give you some fruit. Personally, I would rather have cans myself rather than like that fruit that they got. So what you have to do is is you have to uh, make sure that you have a few items in your pantry, if possible, so that if you do have to go to the food bank, that's not all the food you have. Uh, what's happening, uh, another thing is, like here in San Diego is very, very expensive. Uh, realistically, some people living here really can't afford to live here. So. If you guys make a video on this fruit and vegetable thing, that would be great because um, I noticed when um, the women, mostly it was women, uh, were doing these uh, videos, we all had like a, a, a bit of a different uh, approach to these things, like how to be frugal, uh, how to, you know, buy the food for $5. So if you have a good video uh, and you let us know, then everyone can watch it and that would be great. And please subscribe and welcome to all the new subscribers and to all the old subscribers who's been following me five years. Thank you very much. And I will be doing some more uh, mukbangs. I don't know about tonight. You know, I'm still tired and I'm still doing heavy, heavy uh, housework. Um, I had uh, swap meat clothes. I have eBay inventory. I have food storage. And uh, it is just, it, it, there is like no end to it. <laughs> but it is, I, I did get all the food. The food was horrible because what I did is I moved all the food out and I moved all the new food in and then all the old food on top of the, all the new food on top of the old food. And then on the clothes, I'm having to go through them one at a time. Now, I have other inventory, too. I have toys, I have jewelry, I have clothes, and I have coats, etc. And I have collectibles. <laughs> and uh, if you guys need extra money, um, what I do is I scour around in the thrift stores. And what I'm looking for this week today is Dollar Day. I'm looking for, um, if I find stuff for a dollar, that's the best. I'm looking for plus size clothes. Uh, you know, out here, if you go to the thrift store, good luck finding plus. What are the plus size people supposed to be doing? Um, maybe I can find them at the swap meet, you know. I'm looking for plus size clothes. I'm looking for jewelry and I'm looking for jeans. And that's what I'm looking for this week. So of all the things I sell, the most easy to um, control are jeans because, you know, I fold them up and I can put them in uh, boxes and they're out of the way and they're not causing a mess. The worst thing is um, coats and dresses. So I'm suspending dresses. I'm going to sell off all the dresses I have and that's it for the dresses. Although, if you can stand the mess of the dresses, another uh, another really bad thing was purses. Those are a mess, and they take up a lot of space. And I also bought a lot of stupid briefcases. <laughs>
So that's what I'm doing, and I will see. I don't know what I'm doing the next um, mukbang. Okay, the mukbang was just to discuss Atlantis, which was crazy. <laughs> okay, you guys, God bless you all.